Hey guys, it's Tiny here with MA Performance again. Today, we're gonna take a look at our lovely Evo 10 power steering reservoir. We're gonna do a little bit of an install video, unboxing, and just a quick overview about what this part is and what comes with it. So we'll start by uh, unboxing this piece. I'm getting this to in the similar form as, as you guys will be receiving it in our signature brown box. Uh, you guys will be receiving this as you see it, uh, fully kitted and assembled, but uh, we're actually gonna take it apart and uh, show you guys what's inside because there's some neat, cool features that uh, we decided to include with this reservoir that uh, differentiates us from the competition just a little bit. And uh, we're really excited to show you guys those neat changes that we included. So one of the most notable and obvious uh, things we did on this reservoir is include a sight glass uh, so you can dial in the level really, really easily. Um, this is a huge advantage over some of the other fabricated pieces that we've seen out there. So it, it just, it doesn't require a dipstick. You're able to just kind of pop your head in there uh, and take a look at the sight glass and see, okay, it, it should be about in the middle of the sight glass. That's how I know that uh, it's full. And uh, it's just a really quick, easy way to check your power steering level and, and make sure that's always on point. Go ahead and pop these four Allen head bolts off of the lid. Um, you will see on the inside, we include a mesh filter to keep any of those particulates that might find their way into your power steering system, whether you have a power system component failure or you have a dirty fluid or, or some sort of debris it makes its way in here. Um, it's gonna catch anything large that could damage your, your pump or any other components. Another thing that we wanted to include and stand behind uh, to know that you guys are getting the best product on the market. Uh, also too, with that filter mesh, it's 100% removable and cleanable. So if you do have, say, a failure in your power steering system and there's a bunch of debris or gunk or whatever in there, you can pop that screen out and it's able to be cleaned and reused. So now that you guys kind of have a rough overview of the part and uh, some of the features that it and benefits that's included in it, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go around the car and show you how it looks. So the first thing we're gonna do is extract all of the power steering fluid out of the reservoir. I like to do this with one of these uh, brake air bleeders. Um, this is just a cheap one, so I kind of use it to pretty much anything that needs fluid removed out of it. Uh, it's just super easy and uh, doesn't make a mess, so. Oh yeah, it's a struggle. You're only gonna be able to suck fluid out until the bottom of this fitting here, which is okay because all we need to do is get this hose off and unbolt it, and then we can kind of swing the whole thing out of the way uh, to avoid making a mess. There's a screen that separates the two levels from each other. This is about all, all the fluid you can extract this way, and then I'll show you how to empty it the rest of the way without making a huge mess. Oh no, I'm making a mess on my floor. Whatever. My friend Alex. Say hi, Alex. And my coworker. The next step we're gonna do is remove the spring clamp from the top hose and these two 12 mil head bolts. Uh, this is gonna allow us to kind of swing this out of the way and then get the last clamp and last hose off without making a giant mess, which is what I always like to do, except for when I make a giant mess. This is the wrong tool. This is the slightly less wrong tool. If you have trouble getting these hoses off, which I don't imagine you will, but sometimes you do, uh, give them a little rotate and that'll loosen them up. So, like I said, minimal mess here. We're gonna kinda go like this. You have just enough room. There you go. So, now what I'll do is hold it like this, grab my pliers, move that spring clamp out of the way. There might still be some fluid in this lower hose, so put a rag there. So there you go. So, installing this is just as easy as uninstalling it, it's the complete invert, as some might say. We're gonna start with the larger lower hose. Just slide that guy on there. You may, at this step, you can secure this, but it's likely you're gonna have to rotate this hose just a little bit, because obviously the orientation is different when it's way up here. So just be aware of that. Once you got the spring clamp back on, you can fasten her here. Slide our upper hose back on. So uh, it's important that you make sure the spring clamp, if you're reusing them and not replacing them, 
is in the same orientation as it was when you took it off. Part of how they seal, and if you change the orientation, you might not have the same amount of clamping force and sealing that you did before. Reusing parts like that, you have to ensure that that's it's in the same orientation. Uh, so the last step um, is we include new hardware uh, for fastening these to the car. They look a lot nicer, and they kind of match the rest of the aesthetics. So you will need a five millimeter Allen wrench or Allen socket, whatever you choose. Snug those guys up and you're all done. So obviously the last step here is to pull the cap off and uh, fill it up with fluid. Uh, we recommend only using genuine Mitsubishi power steering fluid. You get this from us or your local Mitsubishi dealer uh, just to top this back off. It's always nice to add new fluid when you're putting a new part as well. Yeah. That's good. So, like I said earlier, um, after you get it all assembled and topped off, you're going to want to reach the middle of the sight glass with your fluid level. We also recommend turning the car on, moving the wheels around a little bit, and then rechecking the fluid level. Um, in theory, you shouldn't have to re-bleed or burp or do anything funny with the power steering system because all you essentially did was drain a reservoir, add a new one, and then refill it. Um, but in the event that you do, we always you know, recommend going through the steps of making sure you avoid that situation. So start the car up, move the wheel around a little bit, and then uh, recheck the level. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all that's to it. Uh, it's a pretty easy and simple install, and it really complements the vehicle, and also, uh, two complements MA Performance catch can and coolant overflow. So we have those both pictured in our signature black uh, on the Ultimate Evo 10. So good showcase of the product and give you guys a good overview of what it's going to look like on the car. Oh yeah. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Once you are uh, all satisfied with your fluid level, that's pretty much the end of the install. Um, I hope you found this informative, helpful, or if it just uh, turned you on to a new product, that's always good. Um, if you guys want to see more of me, more of this car, more of anything, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.